Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today I'll be comparing two processors of different ranges. The Intel i7-6700K Skylake Mainstream versus the i7-5820K Haswell E-Extreme CPU. That's gonna be a real battle since both i7 processors currently cost about the same amount of money. Okay, the 5820K costing a little more, but yeah. In this comparison, we'll just be looking at offered performance, not features such as quad channel and so on on the Haswell E processor. I'm just letting you know that this is all about performance here. Benchmarks, benchmarks, what can you tell us? Alright, to make it quick, the 5820K by far has to be considered as the clear winner when it comes to productivity, such as video editing, encoding, and rendering. While the 6700K is keeping up extremely well, it does fall behind a fair bit in these aspects, I'd say. But once we put on some games, it's the other way around. The 6700K performs just so, so much better than the 5820K in games. The 5820K in fact in games can probably be compared with the 4790K. The 6700K though is the clear winner in games. The amount of frame rates with that CPU is amazing. The temperatures on the 5820K however are extremely low. The ones of the 6700K can already be considered as high, leaving you not that much of overclocking headroom anymore. The 5820K unfortunately is not as efficient as these mainstream CPUs, especially not on idle. Still, you can call these bad results. It's just that the 6700K is much more efficient. So the conclusion is a simple one here. There's not much difference in terms of pricing. Therefore, if you're looking for a CPU to do lots of video editing, rendering, encoding and stuff like that, go for the 5820K. If you're looking for an all-round processor that can do all these productivity stuff well too, just not as good and fast as the 5820K for example, but want a very good gaming experience, definitely consider getting the 6700K. And that's pretty much it. I hope my quick comparison video could help you demonstrate the differences of these two CPUs. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.